Ready? Dude, born ready. I got up to kick ass this morning. <laughs> I'm ready. How's that going for you so far? It's not. It's actually, it, well, it's going okay now <laughs> that we're doing this. Mission accomplished. Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. We are here at Red October. We're guests of Rifle Dynamics. We're glad to be here. And now I'm especially glad to be here because to my delight and surprise. And mine. <laughs> I see none other than Mike Pappas over here manning the dead air booth. Mike, my second favorite guest on TFB TV, we just determined a role model. Personal, I'll take it. I'll personal, take second. Physical, spiritual role model for me. And I'm really glad to have you on the program. Let me just say, it's obvious I can't compete with this. Clint Smith is number one. For me to be number two, it's an honor. Love you, Uncle Clint. Let's talk about the AK, because this is actually a tricky and intimidating platform to suppress. Why is the AK so tricky? It has a couple of things that make it kind of tough for us. Generally speaking, they're hideously overgassed. So once you do get a can on it, you can't hardly stand to shoot it through port noise and gas. So we tried to fix the concentricity issue with the fact that the barrel threads can be off to the side. They can be crooked and the muzzle can be cut any which direction. And that's what you mean by concentricity yes, for sir. those out there who, who don't know what you're talking about. Like it, it thinks, thinks it could be, as we like to say on TFB TV, cattywampus. Cattywampus. It is that very much so. <laughs> this is our Wolverine, technically Wolverine PBS-1. We ended up kind of mimicking the external appearance of the Russian PBS-1 with the knurling that we chose and the size. Great, yeah. And when we had to get to 24 and 26 millimeter, it started to get very large. So we just kind of proportioned it to kind of look like a PBS one from a long ways away. So it's aesthetically pleasing. So what we did is we kept playing with the spacing for the back pressure, the baffles, the bore, and we came up with a system and the bore is cut very funnel shaped so that it can be slightly off to the left, right up, down, whatever, and the bullet will still pass through without hitting it. And that's 99.9% .9 of AKs, unless it's crazy, I've seen a couple of them that were just so crooked we couldn't even, we had to work on the gun a little bit. So the two main problems that you're looking at with an AK, uh, gas balance yes, sir. And, and getting gassed out whenever you're shooting it, Correct. which sucks, I mean everybody hates that, and concentricity issues with the muzzle and you know, like you might be sending a bullet right through your baffles. That's what happens, you'll get a baffle strike. It's absolutely if you just put right. a regular ass can on an AK, especially like a low quality AK, there's a good chance you're gonna shoot a bunch of holes through your suppressor Correct. that shouldn't be there. And then there's one other, the easiest problem of them all. AK threading is wildly different. Right. So you have 14, 14 left, 14 right. You've got long, you've got 24, 26. There's a lot of different things that could be on there, 16 millimeter, 17 millimeter, you know, RPD, RPK, all of that sort of business. So let, yeah, let's talk Can about I, the solution. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. Okay. I can't manage it at the same time. We make three different sizes of this collar. We make a wide variety of 
thread inserts. It can also be 15 millimeter for like HKs, 9 16ths left and right, half 28, 5 eighths. We make a 13 right for Galil's. Mm -hmm. This is 24 right. So it comes with a tool that will lock onto these features and then you take a socket and you can change the thread pitch size and direction. Then this spring goes back on. There's a slot in this area. It has a little bit of room to rotate to index with a front sight detent pin to help keep it secure. Now I can just screw it onto the rifle. So let's do a quick install. This muzzle device, uh, this is uh, standard 74, okay. 24 right factory. So you tighten it down, it's muzzle seating. Now I'm gonna lift it out of that position too. Now as I rotate this around, it's gonna find a slot that it aligns with, that it locks in with, and I'm gonna tighten these three pieces together by tightening this right. collar down. I mean, that's very complicated, but it's what you have to yeah, do. Yeah, it's, once you do it a couple times, it's actually pretty simple. And how does this solve the concentricity issue? The concentricity issue is more solved in the baffle stat mm -hmm. than this mount, mm -hmm. right? It's very funnely, so it has a lot of area you got that some, it can you got move some around wiggle in. Room Absolutely. With the but does that affect the por uh, performance of the Wolverine negatively? No, no, it does not. How does the Wolverine solve the gas blowback issue? The baffle spacing, design, and size of the board do over gassing, low back pressure, and concentricity all at the same time. Okay, and this was designed, no mistake, this was designed from the ground up to go on your AK. 100%, yes, we decided to solve the problem that there was no real commercially viable Kalashnikov solution for suppressing them. And we took that on and boom. Now I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, thanks for being on the program. You're kind of a unique perspective because you are in fact like right now shopping for a suppressor for your AK. You're aware of some of the challenges, but let's talk about what platform we're running with right now. What do you have? AK. So this is a PM90 kit. Um, I got two years ago from uh, Red October. And uh, this one's a little different though. It's got the JMAC GBC-13. Uh, front sight gas block, and it's got the uh, JMAC chemo mount. Yeah, sure. So it fits all the dead air suppressors. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. I was like, God, that doesn't look like a dead air, but it's yeah. I, you can tell it's a chemo mount. Yep. So you're committed to getting a dead air suppressor, Absolutely. it seems like, then. Yeah. What are you thinking about getting? Um, either the K or the S. The Sandman. Uh -huh. Why is that? Uh, well, because it well, fits for one, mm -hmm. and it's lightweight. I just fired it right now off this gun, and it seemed no really discernible di difference between the K um, other than length. Dude, Andrew, this is fantastic, man. Like, this is a nice little setup that you have here. Yeah, and you're not worried about concentricity issues with this barrel? Well, this one's already been done up. It's been built by uh, John at the M13 Industries. Uh -huh. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's been cut. Yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, Fabrique Barrel FB Radon barrel. Mm -hmm. So Polish cold hammer forged from line. Yeah. Let's say I want to do that. I've got just a regular Romanian and I want to do a 13 and a half inch barrel. I want to get that break on there. Ballpark me. How much did that set you back? The labor, you know, on this one, it's got a lot of internal stuff also. So in with the Cerakote and everything, it was about a thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So you spent a pretty decent chunk of change, but you've got a sophisticated, yeah, technologically up to date AK, if almost like an oxymoron, right? Right. But, well, Andrew, thanks a ton well, for you. being on the program. Good luck with your suppressor search. Although it seems like you've kind of settled on. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's a done deal. Now I guess if I had to, right, just use a conventional 30 cal suppressor. Do you have tips for me? Let's say I don't have the Wolverine, what should I do? Yes, if you're going to use, and you can use any suppressor that will obviously fit, say 30 cal bullets through it. 
if you're working on a 30 cal, it could be 5.56, five, right? Sure. Or 5. Four, Whatever five. you want. Yeah. Saying that those match up, generally when people build a kit and they use a US barrel, it is squarely machined, it is concentric, and that you can just add whomever's muzzle device that you would like and whomever's can that you would like. I would prefer it if you used a dead air product sure. on that. Sure. I mean, yeah, the world would note. be a better place. Just saying. Any tips for if I've got a surplus AK? Am I screwed? I should probably just get a Wolverine. No, you, well, it would be path of least resistance easiest to get a Wolverine because you would 99.9% .9 not have to do anything and you would have success right then, then and there. I've seen this many times as well. You can just check it with a rod and if it's good, it's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just put a, put a dowel rod down the barrel. And I don't want to say that you have to do anything crazy because a lot of times AKs through happenstance just work. It'll be great. Fine. But you could have a, say, right across the dirt bank here is John from M13 in Vegas. People will work on it. There's a yeah. lot of AK Smiths around. But at that point... They can straighten it up. At that point, either you're going to shoot out your suppressor, like have a baffle strike, or you're going to spend a lot of money to ensure concentricity and get it worked up. And, and it might just be worth it. What are these MSRP? They don't let me around a lot of price sheets a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot who but I was with. <laughs> you just, can just go to, go to dead air. No, it's go fine. But... It's about 900 bucks, I think, uh, right there, right under 1,000. And what do I get with that? I get the tube, and then do I get like, You get a the can itself, uh -huh. you get a 14 left mount, collar set up for that. You get a wrench and packaging. Everything you need to be successful. <laughs> it's always great having you. No, it was a pleasure, sir. Thanks again. I can't believe that you'll even let me on. Your program's <laughs> very classy. And, I know. And I get, here we are. Look, you know, I... Anytime I can have you, it's my honor, it's my privilege. Again, my spiritual and physical role model. Same, my friend. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a dad bod and quit with all that exercise. I'm working on it. I'm working on We're it. We're all working on <laughs> it. Guys, we will be bringing you more from Red October.